All right, and I'm back, everyone. So how are y'all doing today? Um, so today... Ooh. I'm just getting used to the new tracking software. Um, I'm using VC Face. They updated a few things. And they also... Uh, Leap Tracker Motion also introduced uh, a new version of their hand tracking software. And it's actually doing a pretty good job. Um, so I'm getting used to that. Hopefully it works in this video. So today we're going to be trying to finish up the rest of these packs of um, Fusion Strike. Um, so... Mm -hmm. Let's get started. So, again, um, I'm going to be using... Um, what's it called? Stream beats in the background. And you know what? Actually, no. We're going to be using a different... Oh, whoops. Forgot to turn on the sound on my speakers, so now everything's kind of going meh on me. But yeah, no, we're we're gonna we're gonna try and do. Woo! This should have been all set up beforehand. I'm not even gonna lie. I am so bad at this. So if anybody's watching, how are y'all doing today? And I know this is kind of like a time filler thing um, until I get... There we go. Alright. We're going to do some some of these packs. Let's just go for it. Get my scissors out. And then... There we go. This has become like one of my favorite... Winter time songs. All right, and you guys get your first code. Next. We're going to go for what's inside. We're going to zoom in. Zoom in. Woo! What do we got? Zora. You know, like a mountain area. It looks kind of cool. So, yeah. Oh, oh we got Shelter in a beach kind of whirlpool. Not the greatest move set, but kind of like the art. And I like how they did used it with rapid strike. Oh, we got Caterpie back. Flock. Search your deck for a Caterpie and put it into your hand. Bench. Then shuffle your deck. Alright, so we got Caterpie. Search your deck for Ca oh, yeah. No, we already did this. But I like the art on it with the forest. And... Oh, I 
kind of like them. The artwork. Just the forest and stuff. I don't know. Okay, we got Drill Burr. Scratch for 20. Not that great. The art is kind of more 2D style. Um... Okay, um, but yeah, no, we got, yeah, 2D, more or less. Eh. We got a Shinx, and I like how it's happy and just jumping. It looks like the, the trainer's camped out here in the field, and it's just chasing the dandelions. And I kind of like that. Now we got Vulpix again. Oh, this is a hollow. This is our hollow for the day. Or for the pack. Live coal. And we got, I guess, runes, an old wall. I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. For our rare, we got Electrode. Sonic Boom for 40. This damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. So, basically... Hmm. Not really good, unless you have something against resistance against electric. Explosion for 120 does 90 damage to itself. So, like, again, like these, these suicide moves, I guess I'd call them. Like... Do, do they both win? If it does, it, is it a draw? If like both players lose their Pokemon on their last card or on the last prize card, because like that's kind of weird. Hmm. Oh, we got our energy. We got a Dunsparce again, another 2D. Uh, more abstract, I guess. Less detail. And then we got I um I got a uh Cramomatic? What the heck is this? You can use this card only if you discard another item card item card from your hand. Flip a coin of heads, search your deck for a card and put it in your hand, sh then shuffle your deck. Okay, so this one's a luck card. And then we got Eldegoss. Eldegoss, yeah. Sunny Wind for 50. Heal 20 damage from this Pokemon. I'm liking these Pokemon that have like somewhat mid tier health and then have like a heal move attached to them. I'm starting to like that more. Um, just cause you got a bunch of these healing effects in Pokemon games, but you never get them in the cards, like, um, Leech Seed, and I guess, I forget what it is, you just get Recovery, I think, or Recover, um, you get, yeah, you get your standard Recover, um, you get, um, shoot, Rest, you get a bunch of these other ones. Now, as we all know, um, I am not gonna give out every single code, because the codes are gonna be for, half of them are gonna be for when I get the Japanese, uh, cards here, and the, yeah, no, and the other half I'm giving to you now, so, like, that's what I'm doing. All right, so we got Snorlax. To, ooh. And that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, that looks pretty cool right there. He's just sleeping around. He's after he's eating apples. He's just taking a nap. And we're turning that down. I'm I'm trying to figure out the proper 
ratio of song to recording. And I think right around here is good. I don't know. All right, so we got Snorlax Heavy Impact. Um, looks all right. I like the shading of the tree on him. Less details than normal, but I don't know. It's it's a nice change. It's a more relaxed drawing style, I think. And it shows. And you get all the little marks from... I think it was trying to shade. Trying to do shading. And, and not like... You got the the kind of shading here, but then you got like the the creases and stuff. Trying to shade them. I don't know. Looks pretty good. Oh, we got Snom in 3D. All right, next. Oh, so we, he's he's 3D. He's just I don't know. I don't know if they made him or if they 3D like blendered. If they blendered him, cause like that's mm -hmm, looking pretty cool. Um, find I search up to two water ener yeah water energy cards. Reveal them. Put them into your hand and shuffle to your deck. Okay. Creepy. Infestation. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. So what is it like? Do you want to keep him out there or something? I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Akuhita. And you got this guy again. Now we got the Ma Makuhita. Training. We got three of them training there on the on the giant pillar or mountain, whatever. It looks kind of cool. And not bad for a basic with a with a hammer in for sixty. I want to see his evolve form though. Rookie D. Rookie D. Yeah, Rookity. Um, Fury attack 10 times. Okay, so this is just luck. I don't like luck cards. Um, although the art is similar to the Snorlax that we opened up. And he's just kind of like more 2D-ish. Not on like a scale. I, gotta, I should have like a scale for that. Cause like they try and do like three it's kind of 3d with the with the shadows and i guess the rocks are showing off more of a three-dimensional image but like the character isn't really doing too much there's not enough detail for it to be 3d oh no extra drill oh here we go Here's our shiny for the pack. Uh, Metal Claw 50. Rock Tomb 120. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. Now, that's a good one for it to not retreat on. Because, um... That one... Um... Yeah, if you hit two in a row, it basically knocks out everything. Especially... Oh, especially if they throw out a good Pokemon card and they don't have the energy to attack and they're just needs to and they need to retreat it next turn after they throw down something from their hand from Pokemon from their hand they can't do that if you use Rock Tomb that's pretty good alright as for the picture it's a little bit 2D like his um like Drill Burr a little basic, but it's 
it's got a nice it's got a nice presence to it I guess but again it's it's not the best one not the best artwork yeah oh grim snarl here we go here's our here's our legendary foil Wait, is my are my other ones foil? Wait a second. Electrode isn't foil. Okay, so this one's actually a hollow card, not a reverse hollow card like this. So, um, bite for sixty, rear attack a hundred. If you have two or fewer bench Pokemon, this attack does a hundred and forty more damage. So, that's not bad. I think this is also a reprint. Because I'm pretty sure I have this one in, like, the first generation of uh, Sword and Shield cards. Oh, here's our energy. Luxio. And you got the same trainer tent as the Shinx from before. And, but it looks like a different area. It looks more forest-like instead of the open field. And it looks pretty good with the sunset going down. You got the fire cooking in the background. And you got the prepared food over there on the bench. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, yeah. All right. Oh, then we got a Metapod. We already got one of these. Morning, coming down. He's just sitting there on, I guess, a stump. Or a rock filled with moss or something. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Still waiting for the uh, Butterfree for him. But oh, we got a Persian. This is another... I'm pretty sure this is another reprint. Um from that series uh from the first sword and shield series or was it a reprint from the alone i am not sure yeah i'm pretty sure this is from the alone one no 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 it's from the alone series but it's not the alone persian I remember that because the alone Persian is kind of bluish. But that's that. Okay, anywho. We just finished two and we're only 18 minutes in. <laughs> Should really pick up the pace on this. Alright, you guys get your next code. Ah! There we go. Come on. There we go. PC6 and WWX6 WGX M4N. Woo! Alright, and so next one is going to be a Toxel. Uh, growl. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon's attacks do 30 less damage. Before applying weakness and resistance. That's pretty good, actually. Um, in the beginning of the game, most attacks only do like 30 for like one energy. So you're pretty much set. And then Tiny Bolt for 10. That's not bad. And then as for the picture, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it's got the rainbow colored lightning bolt and that's kind of cool looking. Yeah. Oh. oh, we got a Totodile. Here we go. Rain splash for 20 and he's just playing around in the, in the, in the water, I guess the pond or something. 
or a small river or something like that. Um, so he looks kind of cool. Um, he looks kind of cute. Not cool, but yeah. <laughs> um, and so <sighs> next one. Bunnery. Oh, ah, we already went over this one before. We got the evolution in the background. And I guess the pre-evolution -ev pre form wants to try and mimic what it's going to turn into. And train. Double kick for 20. Uh, twip two coins. Yep. I don't like luck cards, so probably not going to go in my deck if I ever build one. Club Bo Pus Club Pus. So they just attach boxing gloves to an octopus. And this one's kind of cute. He's in he's just looking out. He's just I don't know. I don't know. Ty Tynamo? So they did another 3D one. Um, I don't know. I really don't like the 3D ones. It's hard for me to like the 3D, uh, the 3D art cards because um, they, they just, I don't know. They just don't do it for me. All right. So you got Thunder Wave, flip a coin. Uh, the opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Um, tackle for 20. Nah. It's alright. Our, our reverse hollow. Um. It's gonna be Luxio. Electric Claws for 50. And we already went over him. So we're gonna put him away. But it looks kinda cool. Also, hello. Uh. Fit. To fit yeah fit tobo zero zero I I don't know how to say that one <gasps> we got Tyranitar I've always wanted another Tyranitar since I gave mine away um I gave all my original cards away and then I got back into like, um, Pokemon, but I always regret giving away my cards and now I'm starting to get them all back. Um, so Tyranitar V, 230, uh, Hammer in for 80, Land Crush for 150, and they got the... The standard VMAX kind of like yeah, glow hollow thing going on. Although you can see rocks flying in the air. So I guess this is the land crush attack that he's that they're emulating with the picture. Looks kinda cool. Oh, we got our Energy, woo! We got a quick ball. Uh, search your deck for. Uh, you can play this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Search your deck for basic Pokemon, then reveal it and put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. They changed the quick ball, I think. Cause I don't think you had to discard from your hand. Or did you? Ugh. I think they made it. Pointless for that, but Well, it's a basic wait. No, no. Okay, so V Mac or V Pokemon are basic Pokemon. So mm -hmm. I guess if you wanted to summon Tyranitar that wouldn't be bad All right, then we got Sharpedo Oh man, so I got like a bunch of Charging at you with teeth. That's kind of cool looking like that. I'm trying to get a good angle of the of the light. I should 
really make a diffuser for the light that's above me at some point. So yeah, he's charging at you and it looks pretty cool. Sharp Fang for 70, that's not bad either. Though it's not the best that I've seen. And we got Heliolisk Gnaw for 20 and Electro Bolt for 60. This attack also does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance. That's not bad. I always go for, again, trying to weaken the bench before they can get out. So that's pr this is a pretty good card. And he looks all right. The artwork's all right. He got the sun above him, directly above him. He's blocking it out as he jumps to you, I guess. Yeah, it looks all right. And you got flowers all around. And this one's a bit more detailed than the other ones, and I kind of like it for that. All right, so how many was that? One, two, three... Okay. Nope. And again, we're saving half of these codes for when I do a Japanese box, because they don't have codes. Alright, so we got Shroomish. Ooh. And he's got a nice detailed forest look going on there. On the card. Although I don't like the white background, kind of. That just kind of puts me off that there's nothing there. I mean, like, if he went with, like, a little... I don't know, black? No. I don't know. I guess it's trying to simulate, like, maybe the field or something. Like a lake or something with large areas behind that. But I don't really like that. Alright, Tackle for 10, Seed Bomb for 20. Eh, not good. Well, it, it all depends on the evolution for him. Oh, wait, we got Keefly. Uh, Keef. Eh. Keef. Key? Keef Key? Again, we got that. We already saw him before last time. Uh, 2D image, kind of not as much detail, and more of a cartoon vibe to him. So, yeah. Oh, Trubbish. Call for Family, search your deck. Okay, there's another Call for Family. There's always usually at least one or two now. At least one or two in each series going forward, I think. That's going to be Pokemon's way of... Do want to search instead of making it a trainer. Super Poison Breath, 20. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Eh, that's pretty good, actually. And then the picture, you got, like, again, a cartoon design. Less details, but a lot more things in it. With all the trash around. Pretty good. Oh, we got another Totodile. Splashing around in that little pond. <laughs> okay. New one. Uh, f fan Trump? F fan tr Tump? Fan Tump? Uh, tackle for 10. Seed Bomb for 20. Um, that's not bad. Well, again, it's not good either. But, okay, so the artwork is kind of more of a... More of a 2D thing. And... I don't know. It 
It's kind of the meh. It's kind of meh for me. But whatever. Um. Oh, our reverse hollow is actually a rare. Uh, vi v Rizon? V Rizon? Bailout. Put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. That's not bad. Um, Solar Beam for 90. So he's there mostly for the bailout. Um, so I guess if you had to like discard a card in order to use something, like Quick Ball, then that would probably be worth it. It would probably be worth it. Yeah, it would probably be worth it to have this Pokemon in there. Um, our rare for this one is Oriko Rio. Oriko Rio? That bird that has like a gajillion different like things that's in the Alolan region. Lesson in Zeal. Uh, if all of your fusion strike Pokemon take 20 damage less from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon, you can't apply more than one Lesson Zeal ability at a time. Lesson in Zeal ability at a time. Uh, glistening droplets put five damage counters on your opponent's pokemon in any way you like <gasps> oh oh no oh no oh no that means you can target their bench and you can literally knock out pokemon that he's retreated to his bench because they're at low health that's what this card does that's what this card does this is support card after you've done like so much damage to the to your opponent then you bring this guy out after he's retreated his oh man and i know for a fact that this new series has i think it's a chancy or something i don't know what it is i think there's another pokemon that you can also take less damage um so if you're running all fusion strike, if you have this guy, you have like, I know there's a few more cards that stop you from taking damage. Oh man, like the ability to stop you from taking damage. So you can just keep stacking them. This, this card in combination with those, is gonna be pretty great. Like this card's kind of overpowered. I'm pretty sure this is going to be in some pe people's decks. Oh. Psychic energy. Uh, Trevenant. Trevenant? All right. And that's the evolved form of the uh, Phantom. Phantom. Yep. Gentle slap for 40, wood hammer for 90, and 120 HP. So he's. He's. Uh, he's alright. He's more of a get him out there and take some damage. Absorb some damage, I think. Because the three, the three energies is what kills it. Okay. Adventurer's Discovery. Search up to your deck for three Pokemon V, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. What? What? You can get your, like... Oh. Like, this card? You can literally win the game. Because you can put all of your giant Pokemon into your hand. What were they thinking with this? Oh, because actually the series kind of counters them. They have a bunch of countering. Deal no damage. I think one of 
one from the series. I think we covered it. One from the series stops VMAX moves. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. But there is a card in this series that stops all V and V max damage. So, I mean, it's kind of eh. Schoolgirl, draw two cards. If your opponent has exactly two, four, or six prize cards remaining, draw two more cards. Okay, that's not bad. That's kind of the opposite of the schoolboy, which has one, three, and five. All right, next pack, and you guys get the uh, the code from this one. All right, we're gonna slide it underneath. Slide this up because I'm pretty sure you guys don't need those anymore because I am pretty sure. Someone has gotten the first one, at least. So. The next one is KX... Eh, sorry. The next one is X4VPPM9RL4-4Z7. Alright, so next one. We're going with uh, Mankey again. They got the pink hues. On this kind of like, I guess, abstract. I don't want to say abstract, but like less detailed and less detailed picture. And it blurs kind of as it goes from the foreground to the background. It looks pretty cool. Well, not cool, but like just like good in an artistic way. Okay, we got, uh, Clauncher, uh, Clauncher. <laughs> With Water Gun for 10, and Vice Grip for 20. And then he's doing some kind of move underwater. Or I guess the force of his Water Gun is, like, pushing him back, because you can see either the entire ocean moving forward, or the Pokemon moving backwards because of that. It's giving the illusion of movement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got Growlithe again. Sitting there on the front porch. Um, warm up. Search your deck for a fire energy card and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. Or combustion for 30. That's not bad. Stuffle. Beat for 10. Roll out for 30. We got already saw him. It's kind of an Alolan feel with the... Or more of a Japanese feel with the... With the charms on the trees. Uh... Cyglyph? Cyglyph? Joust for 20. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tools from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's not bad. Especially if they're all into... Especially if they're all into uh, the tools. Reflect energy for 60. Move an energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. So like if this guy is about to die, you put the the energy on him and go for it. Uh, as for the artwork, it's kind of more of a 2D design again. Um, not too much detail into it. And you got the, I guess, sun going through the clouds onto the Pokemon. Mm hmm. Zigzagoon. Galarian Zigzagoon. Uh, lick for 10. Flip a coin. Feds, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. 
That's not bad. And then you got it running in a field, I guess. Looking, jumping back to where it was running from. I think to look back at whatever was chasing it. I think in a friendly way. And you got, oh, you got the mountains and you got the fields right here. Looks pretty good. Oh, we got a Kangashkan. This is definitely a reprint from a previous series. Um, coordinate one, two punch, 60 plus with a coin, does a hundred damage more. And I don't know how to take that. Because on one point, on one thing, it's great because you can do 160 damage with three energies. Not bad. But on the downside, if you don't get that flip, you're screwed. Oh, and that was our rare. Oh, Zigzagoon was our was our reverse hollow. Cool. This was our rare. I don't really like that rare. All right, so we got steel. Hello, Frostmoth. Moth. Frostmoth. And I know this is a reprint pretty sure because this was a promo card in the first um, in the first sword and shield uh, decks I believe Icy Wind your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep Blizzard loop for six, 160 put all energies attached to this Pokemon into your hand so Icy Wind to stall until you get a knife uh, until you get enough um, until you get enough energies on to kill it. Mm hmm. Oh, here's the other nine tails we were missing. Um, we got there's two nine tails in this series, and we didn't get this one. We got the other one last time. So here's this one. Supernatural Flames for 70. Not bad. 110 HP. So it's kind of on the mid-tier, I guess. No, it's not mid-tier. It's upper. It's upper mid. Eh. And then you got to to get it to get Demaru. To get Demaru. Let's all roll out. Um, this attack does 20 damage for each of your bench Pokemon that has let's all roll out. Oh. Um, rolling attack for 50. So the let's roll out is something that this series is doing. Um, there's a bunch of cards with let's roll out, including, I believe, a Chansey. But we'll see if we get them. Anywho there all right how many packs was that one two three four five okay count the energies count the energies so this one i don't give away the code to you guys the next one i do all right all right, we got Volibee. Okay, um, for sixty. Razor Wing for ten. Air Slash for thirty. <clears throat> Man, I gotta end this soon because I'm starting to get. I can't talk. <laughs> uh, Air Slash thirty. Discard an Energy card from this Pokemon. That's not. I think you need the evolution for this guy in order for it to actually be worth something. Um, as for the art, it's again kind of basic. It's kind of in between the basic cards that we've been getting and 
are the basic drawings and kind of the more detailed ones. It's not as detailed as some of them, but it's not as basic because you got the outline here. It's kind of just monocolored. It's, it's, it's simple coloring. There's no shading. Um, but you also got the lands in the back. It's not detailed. But I guess it's supposed to be like a desert. You got, do got shading for underneath, but everything else is kind of not really shaded too much. For this. So yeah, I don't know. Oh. Do Piter. Alright, so this one is a this one is a uh, in a previous series. And you got the sunset going on the web. There. Oh, we got Meowth, payday, draw card. I'm pretty sure this is also a reprint. I think we have already done this one before. We've already gotten Meowth. So, yeah. It looks kind of cool with the forest in the back, though. It's very detailed. Also with the mushrooms, the red mushrooms in the back, too. Like, they went, they kind of went all out on this one. Next, Onyx. Ooh. Guard press for 30. Uh, during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage bef after applying weakness and resistance. Phone, stop doing that. Um, rock, rock throw for 90. Um, yeah. And he, he's kind of like... The picture's kind of... Yeah, basic... It's in an underground cave or something that it built that it tunneled into and I don't know. Choodle. They try to go for a cute Pokemon in the pond. I don't think it worked. They tried to go for more 2D flat like Paper Mario kind of style. But I don't think it works too well. Oh, more Peko. This is our reverse foil. Reverse hollow. Um, targeted spark. This does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Alright, so this is another this is another um card you would use to attack your opponent's bench. The artwork's pretty, I don't know, it's, again, that's kind of cartoonish with the way detailed main character, and then you got, like, these lightning bolts that are kind of, like, drawn on, um, to that. You also have a nice, like, the heart berries, what are the, I forget which type of berries those are. The berry trees for those. Alright. Then our rare is, ooh. Vicavolt. Bite for 70, Electro Blaster. Discard two energy, two electric energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 200 damage, 20 your opponent's Pokemon. So if you need it, oh. This is, this is, I would make a fire electric deck with this in it, with the Morpeko that we just got, and this, the Vika Volt. So that way, if the opponent has like a VMAX Pokemon or something on the bench, you can weaken it before it gets out. And it looks kind of cool too. Um, 
It's just flying in the sky, like, really high. Like, you normally don't see, like, a bug Pokemon, like, fly up. I mean, like, Butterfree, yeah, but, like, you don't really envision it. You expect them to just be in the forest, flying around in between the trees. This one you got up way in the sky. That looks nice. With the clouds and the forest below. Alright, so... Oh, we got our water energy. We got a, a charge of charge a bug <laughs> and there we go of uh, vice grip for 30 head bolt for 60 that's the pre-evolution of the one we just got so now I can actually play him if I ever want to make a deck out of it okay we got judge each player draws shovels their hand into their deck and draws four cards that's not bad Then we got another X drill. Eh, we already went over it before. Kind of basic. Not bad, but not that good either of an artwork. Hello, Union U I O J J. I don't know how to say that. All right. So we're down to our last two packs for today. Um, and I don't know if I'll do more tomorrow or the next day, so stay tuned, depending on how I feel, how many videos I want to get out. Okay. Hi, Union. When you show them, can you cover the QR with your finger? And that's how the pull. Okay. So you want me to cover the QR code? Okay. All right. So it's gonna be the one on the right. So three. Get your get your get your get your. I guess app ready to go so we're gonna go in five four three two one and the one on the right p l c h q j y Z T R H R B. And I'll give you guys a minute to um to open it up and you know get your get your stuff. Yeah, sometimes people with uh, computers can grab this stuff a lot easier. Instead of an app. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got to go through this. So if you guys are here for the codes, um, that's going to be it for today. Uh, just letting you know, um, I only got one more pack and I only, I do half of the codes. Because then when I do, like, Japanese cards, some of those don't have actual, like, codes because different region in the world. So, um, I keep them for whenever I do them. So, you'll have to come back around mid-January for them. So, we got two more packs, but this was the last code. Um, so, we got Galarian Corsola the mountainside all right quillfish collect draw a card that's not bad uh, spike sting 
Oh, we got another Vulpix here. We got a Chansey. Heal, okay, Drain Slap for 30, Heal 30. And I'm looking for cards that also deal damage to the opponent's Pokemon directly from the bench, uh, to their bench. Um, and also healing Pokemon, because you don't see a lot of healing Pokemon. So, yeah, I like the, I like the 2D art. It's kind of simple. All right, we got another Zigzagoon, but this one isn't Reverse Hollow. This one should be our <gasps> Reverse Hollow with a Latias. Woo! This is good. This one's good. All right. Like, I am just good with this one. But I know I got another... I know I got another rare coming. And we got Lucario. Awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I might have to do two more just for shits and giggles. Because I think, Union, you are my lucky charm. Getting up all this, getting getting the good, getting the good cards. Oh man! All right, we got the dark energy, Swadaloon. Not bad. I kind of like the art with the birch trees and the dandelions. We got the Cremomatic. Again, and oh, Skaters Park. Whenever either player activates poke, uh, whenever either player's active Pokemon retreats, put any basic energy that would be discarded into their hand instead of the discard pile. Oh, wow! Actually, that's a good one. I like that idea of that card. Because it's it's a trade off. All right, so this one, this one's not going to have, um, I'm not going to do the, the code. So just sorry about that. No code, no code. Okay. So we got Gliger. Okay. Nighttime glowing forest kind of looks cool. Slugma in a volcano, of course. Skitty. Oh, we got one of those last times, but reverse hollow. Not bad. Phalanx. Invade for 30. I like the other one better. The one that does more damage if it's, this is the last Pokemon or something. I forget what it was. Choodle. We already got one of him today. Battle VIP pass. What the heck is this? You can use this card only once, only during your turn. You may search up to two basic Pokemon and put them into onto your bench. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's no negatives for that? It just needs to be done during your turn. Oh, during your first turn. Sorry. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. So if you don't draw this card your first turn, you're kind of screwed. Or if you don't have a card to search for this card, you're screwed. So I guess this is kind of like if you wanted to just get out certain Pokemon. Eh, search deck. Not bad. And our rare for this pack is uh, Leveny. Healing Circle. All healing, all, heal all damage from each of your bench Pokemon. If you healed any damage in this way, shuffle this Pokemon all cards attached into your deck. That's not bad. So it doesn't count as a loss. And... Let's say you have three V Maxes or something, or V cards, uh, 
on your bench, and they're about dead, and the reason you retreated them... So you can just heal them all up to, whatever, 270 or 300 HP? That isn't bad. That isn't bad at all. I like how they did more healing in this, um, in this series. Oh. Energy. Uh, Copperaja. Strength for 90. High horsepower for 160. This Pokemon deals 30 damage to itself. Eh, not the best. And again, I think this is a reprint from the second series. No, first or second series of um, Sword and Shield. Cook. Heal 70 damage from your active Pokemon. Yes, we got another healing card. This is what I've been asking for because... They haven't really done any healing cards. They've done some in the Alolan, but no like potions or. Well, they did do some potions, but like nothing new, nothing original. Something like this card works for me. And last but not least, Macargo. Okay. Uh, Rock Pro for 30, 40, Body Splash for 150. Flip three coins for each Tails discarding energy from this Pokemon. That's kind of bad. I don't like the risk. That's the last one. All right. So, because I pulled some good stuff, um, Union, you still there? If Union's there, I'm going to open up another one and go for a code. If not... We still... Ah. Is anybody still here? Or did y'all leave when I said I'm not giving out any more codes? How many people? Users in chat. Oh, we still got a few people here. Eh. Union came just for the code, I guess. But because I have a few people in chat still, we're going to go for the next one. We're going to have another code. All right. Now, this is definitely going to be the last code for today. I don't have any more packs for today. So, well, I have one more pack for today, but that's getting... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Because, like, well, I'm I'll, the alternate Art Gengar is what I'm aiming for. But, okay, so you guys, get your, get your fingers on the button. And get ready for the next code. Ah. Apparently, you're supposed to cover the, this whatever and we got x k x b m t b x w d 2 r y so enter that code in guys get your get your free um tcg online you know pack or whatever it is that they give you i was i wanted to try and do this but i'm being realistic with myself i will Probably never do it. <laughs> so, y'all get that. I'll give you another five, four, three, two, one, and we're good. So, if y'all got it, y'all got it. Anyways, okay, so let's go with this pack. Let's get it done. Jigglypuff. Pound, let's all roll out. I got another let's roll out card. That's kind of the thing I'm going for. Well, that, that, that there's a few decks I want to make with this new series that I've seen. Um, as for the artwork, I think it's really cute how they do the 2D design with it. Hmm. Okay, we've got the Durant. 
a little more realistic looking, a little more 3D. Looks pretty cool. The action lines all around uh, are forced from the uh, rock being crushed. Adversity Jaws for 70. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a fire Pokemon, it is now paralyzed. Hmm. I actually like that because it's weak to fire, so they found a way around it. They found a, a, a special skill or something that sometimes they usually put in when they, when things are not that great. Uh, especially with weakness and resistance and stuff like that. Um, Alright. Next one. Pants here. Okay, surprise attack, flip a coin of tails. This does nothing. Eh, we've got him before. We got him in the tree swinging with all the fruit coming down. Uh, this is the citrus fruit, I think. I don't know. <gasps> Mine on yes. Because I have the plusle from last time. Call for family. Search for up to two basic Pokemon and put them into your bench. Then shuffle your deck. So you want Static Shock for 20. You want to have this plus of uh, this Minon out, and then the Plusle does like a hundred and something damage if Minon did an attack beforehand. And that's great. Um so we got him. And you got the, yeah, you got plus on the background too. Alright, now we got Baltoy. Um, smack for 20. 60 damage, not, not bad. You got Simiseer. Oh, that's our, that's our reverse hollow. For this pack. Light punch for 20. Fling fire for 60, uh, 60 times. Discard up to two energy cards from your hand. This does 60 damage each card you discard it in this way. This will discard up to two basic energy. So you can only do 120. It limits you to 120. That's not bad. Um, and as for the art style, it's more loose, I guess. It's 2D... Not really straight. Uh, it's not. It's more abstract-ish than the other ones. The sky with all its random funky colors. Mm, I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Let's see what our rare is. Oh, we got a cloister. Shell armor. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. After applying weakness and resistance. Alright, this attack... Okay, so... Aqua Split, 60. This attack does 30 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This also does 30 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you got the 60 to the main Pokemon, and then another 30... to two more. To two more of their... Uh, Pokemon. That's pretty good. They got a bunch of dealing damage to, um, indirectly to bench Pokemon. We got our energy, our fighting energy. Spongy gloves. This is the, the attacks of Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 damage more to your opponent's active water Pokemon. Okay. Before applying weakness and resistance. So this card is specifically targeting water Pokemon. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Corvus Squire. Uh, Fury Attack again. Okay, so 30 damage. So Rookie D does 10 damage for its Fury Attack. 10 times 3. This one does 30 times 3. I wonder if we're going to get the Corviknight and see if it does more damage. Eh. Okay, we got Sand Slash. Okay, another Sand Slash to add to my giant Sand Slash collection. Because they did a whole bunch of um, Alolan ones. 
As for the background in the sky, it looks pretty cool. Hmm. All right. And this is the last one for day because I literally don't have anything else. And again, this is the fourth. This is the. You're not going to get a code from this one. So sorry, guys. But I need to save for the Japanese ones because they're coming. Oh, they are coming. And whatever I don't. Whatever I don't put in the Japanese cards, I will give you guys at some point in time. These codes are going to be here. I'm going to give them out eventually. So anyways, uh, more Peko. We got the real one, not the reverse hollow. Um, targeted spark, 30 damage. Cool. Oh, we got a shelter again with its cool little like whirlpool kind of attack. Voltorb, another like kind of abstract world art. I don't know if I like this or not. I kind of don't. I'm leaning towards no. Single shot blast, 30. Flip a coin of tails. This attack does nothing. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of risk in these new cards. It's like you either get it or you don't. Uh, Pan Sage, scratch for 20. That's pretty good. Um, Q Fan, roll out for 10. High horsepower for 80. This attack does 20 damage to itself. So, yeah, that's kind of why I want the um, healing in some way, shape, or form, because I know a lot of attacks do damage to their own Pokemon. I also like how it's lifting. It's the artwork's kind of cool too. It's lifting up a boulder. They just wanted another uh, fan feed, Dawn fan kind of thing in this generation, I think. So they gave it. It's a Q fan. Mm, it's all right. Our reverse hollow is a snom. Oh wow. Uh, find ice. Search your deck for up to two water energies and reveal them. Put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So, not bad. Okay, our rare is going to be... Dragapult. Alright. Not bad. Uh, fusion Strike Assault. This attack does 30 damage for each of your Fusion Strike Pokemon in play. So... You're allowed to have... Wait, does it include... For each... It does not say it doesn't include itself. So automatically it's at least 30 damage. And you can have 5 on your bench. Which means it can go up to 180. So it all depends on how many you have in your bench. Then you get speed attack for 20. That's not... Bad. 120, yeah. And you got the hollow going on there. The hollow effect. I don't know. It's a city behind. It looks like a city behind it. Oh, it looks like. What's that? What's that sword and shield one? Oh, it's like the the town as soon as you get across the. um. <clears throat> It's the town you get across from the safari zone or whatever that was. Um, oh man, I can't remember it. Alright. But anyways, that's our rare for this one. Then we got our fire energy. We got our Mor Morgrem. That looks pretty good. Uh, no, this is a reprint. This is a reprint from the first gen, I think. And you just got him doing some kind of uppercut practicing. Crushing blow, probably. 
Flip a coin of heads, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's that's not bad. Like a move like that, as long as it deals damage, as long as it does something and just doesn't negate the entire attack, that's pretty good. Uh, our last one. Nope, nope. Quick ball. Yeah, I don't really like quick ball because you have to discard a card from your hand. Barasquita. For one for 50. Um, I mean, it's pretty good for, I guess, if you only have limited energies and you just want to wall. This is a good wall for one or two turns. It also does 50 damage, so it's not like it's... It can knock out the smaller Pokemon. But yeah, no, that's the last one. And so with that... Uh, I'm out of cards. So, um, have a wonderful afternoon, evening, night, um, you guys. And I want to be signing off. Um, if you like what you see, I have all these videos posted on my YouTube channel. Um, and I even game sometimes, so check me out. Um, until then, have a nice night, guys. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>